Praise be Jesus Christ. In today's gospel, our Lord speaks to the woman at the well about living water, water which will quench man's thirst forever and which will become a fountain of water springing up into life everlasting. This living water is the stream of grace continually flowing from the sacraments instituted by our Lord which purify us from sin, extinguish the fire of evil desires, and renders our will fertile in the performance of good works. Every time we receive the sacraments with the proper dispositions, we drink from this stream of grace. We should especially call to mind the two sacraments that we can and should receive repeatedly and often, the sacrament of penance, and the Holy Eucharist. Then when our Lord says that God is a spirit who must therefore be adored in spirit and in truth, he rebukes both the Jewish people and the Samaritans of his time because the Jewish worship had been reduced to merely external ceremonies and customs without any true conversion of heart. Physical material worship but not spiritual. While the Samaritans, who built a temple on Mount Gerizim, arbitrarily arranged their form of worship and often mixed it with heathen superstitions, they lacked the truth. And so the Christian is to worship both in spirit and in truth. That is, in spirit, he must worship, or his worship must be accompanied by a virtuous life, and in truth, that is, without any admixture of error or of heresy. Finally, our Lord says that the will of his Father to redeem and sanctify man was his food. May our nourishment also be the will of God, who wants us to love him with all our heart and to keep his commandments. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.